to you my dear brothers and sisters in the church we find there is great devotion and love toward the sacred heart of jesus and church promotes it a lot why church promotes it we all know that heart is the center of someone's personality and core of the identity in the old testament for example israelites are committing sin hardening their heart means they are slowly losing their identity that they are the children of god and going away so there in the book of ezekiel chapter 36 god said i will give you a new heart that means i will restore or will give you back the lost identity let us try to understand what the church teaches in catechism of the catholic church article number 2563 The heart is the dwelling place where I am, where I live. According to the Semitic or Biblical expression, the heart is the place to which I be true. The heart is our hidden center beyond the grasp of our reason and of others. The heart is the place of decision. Deeper than our psychic drives, it is the place of truth where we choose life or death. It is the place of encounter. It is the place of covenant. sometimes we all say i know many things about that person except heart that means i don't know the person so my dear brothers and sisters in this context you know let us try to understand the sacred heart of jesus all powerful all knowledgeable the creator loving god decided to reveal his heart in jesus christ to reveal his heart to you and me in the person Jesus Christ and Jesus is doing that on the cross he opened up his heart so god you know according to pope benedict he says jesus opened up his heart means the whole heaven is opened up for you and me since the heart is the very core of the personality center of a person My dear brothers and sisters God is opening up his personality and the very person you know and giving an invitation for you and me to come to him to have very closer intimate personal relationship with him therefore the devotion toward the sacred heart of Jesus means I am accepting that invitation I am coming more and more closer to Christ I am coming more and more closer to the very essence and personality of God and building up a very personal relationship with the God. Here God is taking the initiative. God is becoming a man. God is becoming flesh. For example, the gospel of St John, Jesus Christ is going to that Samaritan woman speaking with her, asking for a drink. He is thirsty. God is thirsty. God is thirsty for you and me. and that thirst comes from the very deep within from god the from the very depth of his love is thirsting for you and me therefore we may thirst for him in the late 16th century jesus christ revealed to margaret mary sister margaret mary and she could see the heart of jesus only the heart of jesus that means the full person is present in this heart and she could see fire in the heart of jesus fire symbolizes saving love in the bible moses could see the fire the israelites were led by the fire they were saved from the bondage of egypt and fire is leading them the upper room apostles were filled with the fire and later they are sharing the saving love of christ So my dear brothers and sisters the sacred heart of Jesus is burning with full of love 
and it will never die because the very essence of God is love and this love is waiting for you and me and this love is burning to save you and me so when we celebrate the very you know the the sacred heart of Jesus the feast of the sacred heart of Jesus let us look at this saving love of God let us understand the saving love of God let us take up the invitation given by God to come and make very personal and intimate relationship with the God if you fail in that according to Matthew 5 8 blessed are pure in heart they will see God they may see God they shall see God so if I cannot the purity of the heart is in danger that's why so let us pray to God with the David the psalmist is praying God create in me a clean heart Psalm 51 that he prays for a clean heart let us also pray with the psalmist to create a clean heart in you know in our deep within in our personal life and again you know God is promising a pure clean heart in Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 what is promising a new heart a fleshy heart a clean heart a holy heart so that we can see God's heart we can experience that uh, saving fire and love in his heart we can go to his heart and we can build up very intimate personal relationship with him let us consecrate ourselves to the sacred heart of Jesus let us consecrate our families communities to the sacred heart of Jesus so that we all may experience that saving fire saving love in our personal life and that heart will bless us that heart will keep us within his heart so that we may grow in a very intimate personal relationship with Jesus may the Lord bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit 